Hi Stampers, Jackie Ball High from Clomp and Stampers. I have a fun celebration card to share with you. You know, I feel like I've been kind of bogged down in doing some fall stuff and Christmas stuff. Well, today it's all about celebrating special people. It's a fun new stamp set and I have a lot of tips to share with you, including how to use the take your pick tool. So, oh, and you know what? An important tip, how to get your stamps straight because I know some of you struggle with that and I get asked that all the time. How do I get it straight on my card? Or how do I get a die to fit the stamp? So those are a couple of things we're going to talk about today. So before I flip the camera down, just a really quick reminder, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, leave me some hearts, share this with your friends. I like to do three videos a week that are all about teaching you quick and easy stamping, but I need your help to do that. Those are the kinds of things that let me continue doing these videos. Plus, when you pick me to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, that also helps too. So if you're looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you follow me and you like my videos, I truly appreciate it when you select me to be your demonstrator. Now, that's enough of this chit chatting. Let's flip the camera down and let's get stampin'. Like I said, it's about celebrating today. So we're going to use the stamp set called Sip Sip Hooray. Oh my gosh, this was one that I grabbed right away when I saw the holiday catalog. It's not really a holiday set. I mean, it can be used year round, but I absolutely love the different glasses, the embellishments for our drinks here. Um, and then there's the coordinating stamp set that says cheers to that. So you can easily use these two together. And that's what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna make a wedding card. So we're gonna use the to the bride and groom out of this stamp set. Now, like I said, I have several tips I'm gonna share today that have to do with getting your stamp straight and also making sure your dies fit your images perfectly. So let's just dive in here with a piece of scrap paper and we're gonna go ahead and stamp our two champagne glasses. Then we get to cut them out with dies. I love that when they give us coordinating dies. Now this is a good stamp for me to share with you a little tip about getting this straight so your dies fit it especially when you get long stamps and these photopolymer ones where, I mean, they're so flexible. You know, you've seen me use these before with flowers or different things and I've purposely curved them to put them on a black. Well, that'd be silly on a glass. Don't wanna do that. But I wanna make sure it's perfectly straight because when we go to use this die, if this is, you know, not perfectly straight on there, and off a little bit, this die's not gonna work to cut it out. So the best thing to do is just take your stamp and literally drop it. Drop it right down there on your work surface and then pick it up with your block. That's gonna assure it's straight on there. Anytime we're holding it in our hand and go to place it, we risk that not having it straight. So especially long stamps, just throw them down there and pick them up. Okay. We'll get to how we get stamped straight for greetings next. So scrap piece of Whisper White. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do two glasses because we are going to toast to our new bride and groom. And then it's kind of fun with this because you've got the fill the glass um, stamp. So I've got Daffodil Delight, but I wanted it a little bit lighter. So we're gonna go on scrap paper first. And then I love that it's photopolymer. It's super easy just to place that in there. Well, of course, champagne needs bubbles. So let's use the little bubble stamp and we'll put some fizz in there. I think we'll even go up a little bit higher in our glass there. So we've got the bubbles coming out of our champagne. Now, before we go to the die cutting machine, why don't we go ahead and we'll do a strawberry as well. We'll put that up there. Now for our strawberry, we're gonna just color that real quickly with some Stampin' Blends. So we'll start with our light and then we can bring our dark in here and we'll kind of shade our strawberry a little bit. And then I have, let's see, that, that was Poppy Parade. And then I have the, I think I have the dark shaded spruce. So we'll use that for a little top of our strawberry. That's good enough on that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my dies and go to my die cutting machine. I will cut out both of these and I'll also cut out the strawberry. But before that I do that, just one other little tip, I guess. Um, 
I always keep washi tape next to my die cutting machine because especially when you have teeny tiny images like this, it's real easy for that die to jump around. So I'll just tape it down like that before I run it through the machine. So that's a little tip and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. So there is our strawberry and the two champagne glasses. So we'll set that aside. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, here's what we use for our card. I have a piece of Whisper White that is three and a half by four and three quarters. Now don't worry about these measurements. I will have a blog post and the link to it will be down in the description of the video. So you can easily hop over there and in that blog post, I will not only have pictures of, of the card I'm making, plus two others with the stamp set, I'll show them to you at the end of the video here, but I'll also have the card recipes for all three cards and all of the supplies and the colors I use, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So just hop on over there to see that. So now the stamp that we are using for our greeting on here is hope your big day is just one big happy hour. So to get this straight on my Whisper White layer, what I'm gonna do is just lay it on my grid paper. I can see the words through there. I can see that it's straight. And then I take my block and I will just press it down to pick it up, making sure the edges of my block are straight with a couple of the edges of that grid paper. That ensures that my stamp is straight on the block. So when I go to stamp, I can use the edges of the block on the edges of the paper and it should come out nice and straight. So just get it inked up really well and then we're gonna come over here towards the right edge. I'm lining up the bottom and we should be pretty straight on there. Now, set that aside. Got lots of parts and pieces going here and then the card will go together super quick. So I have a piece here of foil paper. It's the champagne color. I mean, what other color would you use for a card with champagne glasses? And this is cut just a quarter inch bigger than our white piece. And so what I'm gonna do is take the bubble dye, I guess would be the best way to call this, and we are going to run it through the top of our white layer here. And it's just gonna pop out a whole bunch of bubbles in our cardstock, and it's gonna look really cool. So hold on, I'll be right back. Now, whenever I'm doing a die that has lots of openings, I guess is the best way to call it, what I like to do is use my die brush. And they have one now that goes on our take your pick tool. I know a lot of you have the take your pick tool. I have the end changed here. I like to use it for the piercing end, which we're gonna use here in a second as well. But you can now buy the brush part of it. So this just screws on to this end like so. Okay, we'll keep it screwed on there. And then when you buy it, it comes with two of these foam mats. So if one kind of gets icky and wears out, you've got a second one. But all you're going to do is take this and rub it on there before you pop it out. And it really helps a lot of those pieces come out. You can see how much of that. And you can even go over it a little bit more. Um, sometimes with this one, I found that there's so many little holes. You might have to either brush. Oh, the, now they came out with the brush brush them or poke them, okay? But it's not hard. I remember in the past, there were some dyes that you felt like you had to just poke forever, but these are really just kind of falling out. Like I said, you can kind of alternate between using the brush and poking them. So there we go. And then of course, you get a mess all over, but isn't that what stamping's all about? If it's not on your hands, it's all over on there. Okay, this layer, we are gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get them off the back here we will go ahead and we will adhere it down to our champagne layer and look at how fun that is with the bubbles sticking out like so now i'm using my liquid adhesive you know you guys know that this is my adhesive of choice but i want to be super careful especially along the top here very little and then come up in between some of these bubbles but keep it super light because we don't want anything to goosh through any of those bubbles and that really is enough to hold it on there. And we'll come down and kind of do the rest of it here. Thin, thin, thin is the word. And also, I always tell you part of why I like the liquid is you can slide it around when you adhere it down. You want to be kind of careful about not doing that in this case, because again, you have some adhesive up in here and you don't want it to slide around and come popping through those bubbles. There is the front of our card. Now we can go ahead and grab our two glasses and our strawberry. 
what I'm going to do with the strawberry is take my scissors and I am going to just snip about halfway up there a little cut because then I can take this and I'm going to stick it on the edge of the glass. So we'll just, let's see if we can get, there we go, bend it on there. And now it looks like it's on the top of our glass. And then we'll take some dimensionals on our glass here. So we'll start with the first one and we're going to put a couple there. And then I do need to switch to the, the mini dimensionals. This is where I like that pick, um, the piercing end because otherwise it is just too hard for my fat little fingers to pick it up off of there. So we'll take our glass, peel those off, and then we can take our cup and we're going to just stick it about right so. And then we're going to take this other one and this one, I want to kind of look at it before I put dimensionals on. We're going to overlap like so. So if you look, I really don't even want in a dimensional until way down, down here. So let's put that there and then go ahead, put a little one there and oops, our strawberry fell off there. We're going to stick. Well, actually, you know what? Let's stick that strawberry on afterwards. I'm going to go ahead, put a little bit of adhesive up on the top part of the glass. That's where it's going to go over the existing glass. I don't want the dimensionals there because then it'll be kind of popped up unevenly. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that one like so. And then with our strawberry, we can put a teeny tiny dab of adhesive on there as well. And then we can come in here and bend it and get it. There we go. Stick that down. And there are our two glasses. Let's add a little, a couple little bows on there. So we'll just take our Whisper White Baker's Twine. I like to double it and tie it into a bow. And then you can just adjust your bow. We want these pretty tiny because they're going to go on our glasses. So we can go ahead and snip it. And then let's do two. We'll put one on each glass here. Um, Baker's Twine, I love this stuff. It ties in bows really easy. It's not, if you get, make sure you give yourself enough. Don't be afraid to waste a little bit um, because if you try to cut it too, too short, then it is hard to tie the bows. But if you give yourself plenty, it's easy to tie. And then we can go ahead and snip that one off and we'll go ahead and grab our glue dots. Now, these, the easiest, best way to adhere these is I like to fold the glue dot kind of in half, and then we can go ahead and we'll stick one on that glass, and then we'll go ahead and stick one on the other glass, like so. And then I just have a piece of basic black, which is what our card base is gonna be. And the wedding we're going to is kind of a very formal black tie-ish type wedding. So I thought that champagne foil paper under there and then the black, how pretty is that? There's our wedding card. Now let me grab the one I made earlier. So we got two going here. And you can see on the inside, this is where I use congratulations to the bride and groom. And those were the stamps that came out of the cheers to that. Um, stamp set so you can see how the the two stamp sets coordinate so there is one card with the stamp set now let me go ahead and show you two other ones that i made so here i combined several of the glasses i like the little lime on my cosmopolitan and then raise your glass and cheers again pulled words out of cheers to that stamp set um, added just a couple of the sequins on there for a little bit of sparkle and then here we've got a Cosmopolitan and a Dirty Martini. Um, I'll drink to that. And again, cheers, congratulations. So there are three cards all made with the Hip Hip Hooray or Sip Sip Hooray stamp set. So again, I will have pictures of all of these along with the card recipes on the website along with all of the um, products that I use. So if you need to place an order, it's really easy. Click any of the little pictures. It'll take you to the online store. And don't forget to use my rewards host code so you can earn free products from me. So again, if you have any questions whatsoever, anything I can help you with when it comes to stamping or stamping up, I would love to be your stamping up demonstrator and help you. So until I stamp again, have a stamp happy day.